Hello, and welcome to this week's Environmental Friday video. My name is Ashley Becker, and I am a member here at Bethel Lutheran Church. And today I'll be talking about recycling, addressing the crisis in trash on behalf of the Caring for Creation team. Between the pandemic, elections, and economic recovery this year, it's hard to think about how we deal with our trash and recycling. The Madison area is doing a good job of waste disposal, and a majority of us are getting most of our recyclable trash sorted from the rest. To look at recycling and Madison specifically, I'll be playing a video of the Pelletary Company, which shows its semi-automated processing facility. This facility rapidly sorts out all the cans, bottles, newspapers, cardboard, and miscellaneous bits and pieces that Madisonians can drop willy-nilly into their dumpsters. It seems a miracle that allows Madison to sell nearly all of the sorted waste to contractors for reuse. This is not the case in many areas of the country and much of the world. Let's take a look. As recycling trucks arrive at Kipp Street Station, they back into the facility and unload recyclable material onto the tipping floor. The loader then piles up the recycling. When the system needs more material to sort, the loader will grab from the pile and load it into the first piece of equipment, the metering bin. The metering bin's function is to produce a constant flow of material, which is essential to allow the sorting equipment to function properly. After the material is metered, it goes up the first conveyor and drops onto the pre-sort station. At the pre-sort station, we have several quality control people who are pulling out recyclable metal objects like pots, pans, and toasters. They're also pulling out recyclable bags of shredded paper. While pulling out these good recyclables, they're also looking for material that is not supposed to be in the recycling. Ropes, water hoses, large non-bottle plastics, trash, diapers, loose plastic bags, and clothing are sometimes found in the recycling but are not recyclable in this system. Contaminants will often cause good recyclables to become unrecyclable, and that material will go to the landfill. It's very important to only put approved materials into your recycling container so that good recyclables are not contaminated. After the metals have been removed, all that is left is number one through number seven plastic bottles and trash that hasn't already been pulled out of the system. These bottles go on to our plastic sorting platform where robotic arms use artificial intelligence to target and pull number two plastics like milk jugs, laundry detergent jugs, and shampoo bottles. The bottles that remain on the line go to the optical sorter. This machine shoots a ray of light into the plastic and reads how the light reflects back. A computer analyzes the light and determines if the plastic bottle is a number one plastic or a number three to seven plastic bottle. The optic system will then shoot a perfectly controlled blast of air at the bottle, which directs it to either the number one plastic storage area or the number three to number seven plastic storage area. Non-plastic material does not have air shot at it and falls onto the residue conveyor, which leads to the trash. Before this material goes in the trash, we have our final quality control station. The robotic arm uses the same artificial intelligence system and is responsible for pulling out any recyclable material that was not properly sorted. Once material is sorted, it's stored in bunkers. The sorted material gets pushed onto a conveyor that goes into the baler. The baler will compact the loose material into a large brick-like bale that uses metal strapping wire to hold it together. These bales are stored in a storage area and ready to be shipped to an end user. A majority of our paper and cardboard goes to paper mills in Wisconsin and Indiana, where it is made into new paper or cardboard products. Tin and steel cans go to local metal recycling companies and are eventually melted down to make new metal products. Aluminum cans are melted down to make new aluminum cans. Our plastics go to processors that shred the material into flakes, which are used to make new plastic bottles or other plastic products like plastic lumber landscape edging, and drainage tiles. The glass gets color sorted and melted down to make new glass products. Thank you for watching how Pelletary Waste System sorts and prepares your recyclables to be shipped to manufacturers so they can be made into new products. We should applaud these efforts, but in Madison, we still have problems. According to Brian Johnson, 
Madison's recycling coordinator, about 13% of the trash going into the landfill should have been recycled. And according to Danielle Pelletieri of Pelletieri Waste Company, as much as 18% of the material put in the recycling stream was really trash. So what can we do? As concerned Christians, we have the power to do better. And Johnson and Pelletieri have provided tips for how we can be better recyclers. First, know and follow the recycling guidelines of your city and your waste provider. Realize there are no national rules and changes occur with market conditions. For example, plastic bags are no longer acceptable for recycling. Second, know the alternative disposal resources in your area for such things as batteries and electronics. Don't try to stretch it. And three, know that some waste is more effectively recycled than others. For example, most newspaper and cardboard is recycled, but plastic is a different story. Worldwide, only about 10 to 17% of plastics are recycled. But most important of all, your best contribution is to know that the less waste, the better. The world can absorb just so much waste sustainably. Reducing the use of plastic can be a fitting target for your Caring for Creation commitment. So let's consider some everyday strategies. Bring your own shopping bags to the store or ask for paper bags. Refuse plastic bags and drinking straws when offered. Buy products in glass bottles and cans when possible. And if you do purchase plastic, try to choose items which have a one or two listed in the recycling triangle, which are shown in the images here. This is because ones and twos are most easily recycled, while numbers three and above are often not recycled at all. We encourage you to pick at least one item from this list so that you can feel good about doing your part. Thanks for tuning in and join us next week to learn about energy efficiency at Bethel.